Okay, well, welcome. We're going to start with this, actually how to run a test procedure. But before we do that, we're going to have to start with the QA process. So but what's important here is to kind of just see the general setup. Typically, again, you're going to have your patient you know, seated comfortably in a height adjustable chair, preferably, uh, uh, facing the machine like this. The pharmacist then, and again, we have our pharmacist on a nice comfortable stool. You may want to think about that. Chairs itself sometimes are too high to be able to get down and comfortably run the touch screen, but uh, you don't have to sit down. It's just it's kind of like a catcher stance where you're going to be uh, operating the machine down there. So with this, uh, what we're going to want to do is get our supplies ready. And what that includes is that we're going to definitely, you need to have plenty of paper towel. Now this is rolled paper towel but you can also just use sheets, but there's gonna be a lot of paper towel to kind of dry off the machine, also to give to the patient so that they can clean off their ankle. And you definitely need to have a spray bottle full of isopropyl alcohol. It takes a lot of alcohol uh, sprayed on both the device and on the patient's ankle to be able to get a good uh, signal from the device. So with that said though, so, so we're gonna run the QA first, we'll have our patient roll back out of the way. So we're not gonna need the patient yet. Go ahead and I'll have my pharmacist lift up the calf rest and then lift up the footrest, tilt it up, and then remove the phantom device that you can see that we said where it was stored in there because that's the device we use to perform the QA. So with that, go ahead and put the footrest back down. Oh, not the phantom, but the footrest. And just put the back, lean it back like it was. Excellent. And uh, before we do anything, what we're gonna wanna do is uh, go ahead and come closer here. And so kind of the screen here, we're gonna start hit the QA button. Now let's read what it says. It says number one, spray both membranes, spray the QA phantom, and then you're gonna insert the phantom and continue. And essentially inserting the phantom will be just setting it down like you would with the patient's ankle, which is gonna be right in here between the, between the phantoms. So uh, between the membranes. So what I would tell you to do is grab your alcohol spray here and uh, warning for this for both patient testing and the QA, you really can't use too much alcohol, but you can use too little. So it is better to overspray. Now that doesn't go crazy and you don't want to make yourself keel over from the fumes, but you do want to very liberally spray, spray both of the membranes and then you're going to spray both sides of the phantom before you put it in there. So remember, it's going to drip, it's going to make a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. So go ahead and liberally spray both sides of the membranes and if you need to stand up and look around and see what you're doing, you definitely want to make sure that you get both membranes well liquefied and then take this and hold it away from you and spray especially the edges you're not just trying to spray in the middle you're trying to get the edges here where the membrane is going to come in contact with it and flip it over and do the other side okay. and go ahead and set it in the device Good. You can set the alcohol down now, and now you'll look here on the screen. We're going to hit the right arrow button to go forward. Now, if you want to see up here, make sure you can see it says it's filling. You'll notice down here that the water has expanded and filled both of those membranes, and it's completely filled up there. This shows you a kind of a sine wave, which is the signal both from the left hand side and the right hand side of the ultrasonic sound waves that are being transmitted from one side to the other. Okay, and it says testing the ultrasonics. If you get a really small sine wave, then that's not a good sign. Uh, you should be a fairly decent size, similar to the one that you kind of see on there now. And fortunately, this is what you're wanting to get right here though. It says results pass and gives you some of the other information. So it must pass before you can actually run any tests on your patient. Also, you're gonna to wanna to print off a hard copy of that and keep a hard copy, just the documentation. If there's ever a question or a complaint about a patient about whether or not this test result was accurate or not, your responsibility is to make sure that you did run the QA before answer you wanna keep that. So you'll hit the print button. Uh, and it says printer lever up, please check position of lever. So it means that whoever replaced the paper did not push down the little green lever, the little black lever in the back. So now that I've done that, it is done. And so pharmacists go ahead and pull up and rip off that sheet of paper and there's some 
through. So just lift up on that. And again, just set that on the counter and that would keep for your documentation for that event. But beyond that, we're done and ready to go. So now uh, you can have a seat there and hit the little home on the top left corner, the little home button. And now instead of QA, it says measure and it's ready to do our first patient. So with that, we'll have our patient come on roll on up to there. What you're going to need your patient to do to run the test to get ready is to remove uh, the shoes and socks. And if it's for females, they'll have to do, if they're wearing hose, they have to be able to remove the hose too. You have to have a bare foot, bare skin, and up to the ankle. So it's got to go above the ankle bone at least to be able to get an accurate test. So with that, we'd have our patient take off their shoes and socks. Also pull up their pant leg if necessary. And while we're doing that, pharmacist, go ahead and remove the QA phantom and lift up on the foot rest. And set it in there like it was. Put the foot down. And the best thing to do at this point, too, is to go ahead and get used to before you run the test, you're going to want to do a quick cleaning, especially between patients. So, what we're going to use is use a little bit of paper towel and we're going to spray some more alcohol. And we're going to kind of certainly spray on the foot rest area here entirely, on the ankle rest here. We don't have to do the calf rest and you would do both membranes. And then you're gonna just kind of uh, pat dry the foot rest very lightly on the, the membranes. You do not wanna rub on the membranes. We don't wanna poke a hole in those membranes. But go ahead and spray some alcohol, just a light spray down there, down to the heel, and maybe one spray on each membrane. And then the pat dry the foot rest, <coughs> paper towel. And again, we're trying to kind of clean and sanitize between patients. And it's always best to do it before the next patient. A, the patient can kind of see it being done, and, and that way you don't forget to do it as well. We don't want to forget to do it. So it's always something you do right before you do the test, and that just uh, makes sure that it gets done and the patient can see it. Okay, that's good enough. Like I said, you want to rub too much on those membranes. You'll throw that in the trash there. So now we'll have our patient go ahead and put their foot, and have them put their foot, and they can use either their left foot or their right foot. But it's important, you'll see here when we program the device that we tell the machine which foot we are using, but they can use either foot. In this case, our patient decided to use their left foot. So before they put it in there, I would have them okay lightly put their foot just resting on there. Because what you're gonna to wanna to do now is take your alcohol and spray both sides of their ankle. So about the heel bone, on both sides of the ankle down to the heels, you're gonna to wanna to get it nice and sprayed, nice and liquidy with lots of alcohol. You might want to warn the patient that you're going to need to do this beforehand and that the alcohol may, may feel kind of cool sensation on their ankle. It's going to feel kind of cold and wet. And then have them go ahead and place their foot into the device. Heel bone should be all the way towards the back. You should also position the feet like this to where there's kind of a bar there so that the big toe is kind of on the, the right hand side. So if you want to come close to where you can kind of see that position there. You're also then going to want to Make sure that the patient, this is not particularly uh, adjustable, so you may want them to scoot their chair back just enough so that they're not putting all their weight on, but their, ankle, their calf should be resting on the calf rest, their heel pushed all the way back on, in, on the device, and their toes kind of lined up between the, the little divider there. That's kind of the positioning for the foot there, okay? Now, one thing that we should have done before that, so we're gonna get a chance to see that again, is have our patient go ahead and take your foot and set it like it was again is what we absolutely want to do is spray the membranes with lots of alcohol. So again, once you spray their ankle, typically it may be better to spray the, the membranes on both sides first, although it doesn't really matter. Just make sure there's lots of alcohol in the membranes, lots of alcohol on the patient's ankle. And so do a quick spray on his ankle again, real quick there. So we want to make sure. There's plenty of ankle. Keep it on the ankle there. There you go. Okay, just put your foot back in like it was. And make sure that there's good rest to here. Position's very good. All right. So now explain to the patient what's going to happen is that when we run the test, we're going to need to ask them information, a little bit of health information from you about your age and some other information. Then we're going to start the machine. What's going to happen is there's going to be, the membranes are going to blow up like balloons on both sides of your ankle. It's going to feel warm because the water is warmed and it's going to feel a little massage like so it's not an uncomfortable sensation. But just realize you're going to have this kind of warm rubbing uh, sensation on your ankle. And it's going to take about a minute for the test to, to run. And you will just need to remain steady and no talking during that amount of time. Okay? So those are kind of the instructions you run for the test. So go ahead now, pharmacist, and push the measure button on this device. First thing we'll need to do is ask the patient their age. What is your age? Uh, 22. 22. 
But then we'll also need to indicate the gender. There is on the left is a female button and uh, the one on the right is the male. So let's touch the male. And then this is where we need to indicate which foot, left or right. And since we're doing the patient's left foot, let's click the left foot button. And double check that we got the age correct, the gender correct, and the correct foot. And that's really all the information we need to put in. So now we can hit the right arrow and go forward. And it says to spray both membranes and here, and it goes. so let's, it's, so we've done all of that. So we'll go ahead and hit the right arrow button and get it started. Now we'll watch and observe the test. This is where the patient should remain you know, uh, unmoving and not talking. Although this is a chance to maybe give the patient some information about how the machine is working and what this device may mean and so forth. And we'll talk more about that in a separate video, but this is where you could be talking to the patient, but you don't want the patient necessarily to be talking. You can kind of see there's sine waves that came up on the machine there. And there we have the patient's results. And so and we will discuss that again in a, a different video, kind of how to read and interpret these results. At this point though, at what we would need to do for the patient is just go ahead and hit, hit, hit the print button because we're going to want to print off a copy of their results. Yes. So then what you can do is have the patient, don't worry about the report there at this point. Let's go ahead and give the patient some paper towel and have them pull a little phone out of the machine and set it on the camera there. And at this point, you can just give the paper towel to the patient and have them dry off their, their ankle and foot and go ahead and put on your and return to put your shoes and socks back on. The test is over. This is a good time for you to go ahead and do a, just a quick uh, pat down of the foot rest and the calf rest between patients while they're doing that. And then from the pharmacist perspective, just come on back here so you can kind of see the screen. Just a couple of things before we'll end this video, and then we'll move on to the interpretation part to it. And we'll put that paper down in the trash. Okay. If you look on the screen here now, if, if it were to fail or if we didn't get a results, we could rescan that same patient without them having to take their foot out and re-enter that information if for some reason we had to do that. But in this case, since we got a good one, uh, what we would do is hit the new scan button there. And that just takes us back to the next patient. So at this point, we're really done with the test with this patient. We would pull off their test results. We would then talk to the patient about the results, explain the results, talk to them about the, the whole point of this test that we'll talk about here in a minute. But essentially, that concludes a single iteration of doing a test for a patient. So with that, I think we'll end this, this clip.